Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable K. KSM Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you can call this episode a jet dim. A jet dim. You know why? Because my guest is a fireman, and I'll do everything I can to get him to drop some fireworks. But I won't introduce him yet. Just stick around. Phew! We're going to a commercial break. Okay, let me say it. When we come back, A plus will be in the house. So stick around, folks. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. Is it the luxurious rooms? Or the serene green surroundings? KSM show. All right, all right, all right. We're back, we're back. And just before the commercial break, I told you that my own nephew is in the house, man. Put your hands together. Show some love for A class, aka Kami or being a Sari. I'm with the world. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So Finally. Yeah. How much power break? Can you have some good work? <laughs> so what's up? Um, before I start my actual line of questioning, you, I, I hear you've been busy in your constituency yep. campaigning vigorously. Yeah. Can we conclude that you've moved from music to politics, or you're still in the entertainment business? You 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 you, you don't you don't have to move. You don't have to move. You, you're always in. You you can be in and still be in parliament. Uh, and uh, still oh, okay. be in the entertainment business. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I will still be on, on TV, uh, on United Showbiz. Doing, doing your entertainment business. Doing entertainment business. But mm. uh, right now, uh, campaign is in my DNA. Like when my blood flows, you see uh, campaign in. It's campaign. Yeah, yeah, it's campaign. So how is the campaign going so far? Very well. Uh, I, I, I have uh, I've learned a lot. I think that the people of Ghana uh gradually shifting away from the traditional ndc mpp mm. and they are all looking for that guy who come up and uh, show that they they are capable of of making a difference mm. and so uh I've okay let me let, let me hold you for just a quick second there you think that there's there's a change yeah Ghanaians are shifting from their normal mindset of uh, the traditional parties yeah to where? To somebody independent or to a third force they're, or they're, to what? They are looking for who can, who can uh, bring development. Ghanaians are looking for who can develop their... When their did that change come and what is causing I it? I think that it has been there. People have just not uh, uh, taken their time to, um, to, to experience it or to um, uh, take advantage of the current situation. But if you go into every community, people will tell you that they are tied with NDC and MPP. It's just that they are not just tied, they are not just going in for anybody, just anybody because they are tied, because they don't want to, they don't want to be mm. fooled mm. Mm. twice or three times. So they are looking for, they want to trust you. And I have brought something different into, into my constituency. For, 30, for close to 30 years, all that they have had is vote for me and I'll go and bring development. Mm. I am in the constituency and I'm developing the constituency. And I didn't just start. I've been doing stuff in the constituency for so long. And now I am in there campaigning and I'm with the youth on the ground. We are building our own constituency. On Tuesday, we are going to, to build a bridge because we have constructed a road that is linking two towns. And so I've told them that if anybody comes here and they tell you that vote for me to go and bring development, those people are not connected. Those people are not resourceful. You don't need to vote for anybody. I'm right here. I'm mm. developing the constituency mm. without, uh, without power. 
we can do something mm. for you. And so so you, have, you actually have things you have done on the ground now? A lot, a lot, a lot. Like? I've, there are 35 towns in the constituency. Out of the, the 35 towns, there are 33 towns that I have developed, I have built, uh, uh, I've supported communities to build marketplaces, I've supported schools, uh, the, the, the SDA school in, in Gumwa Jukwa needed beds, the whole assembly was able to provide them, I think, uh, five or ten or so, they did their best because, you know, resources, uh, the res they don't have the resources, but I gave them over 50 beds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are bad roads in the constituency. The road from from uh, uh, New Windebar to Chapes is very bad. I I uh, uh, did resurfacing of the road. I've done it twice. I uh, I've uh, resurfaced the road from Abasan to to uh, Ayensu as a. Uh, I have built a new road, like a virgin road from Dahum to Jaman. Uh, I have built water. For so, so, so basically, and they know everybody, everybody's surprised and they are happy. Ghanaians are not bad people, so, Ghanaians, so Ghanaians are not lazy. The people of Gomorrah are not lazy, and and Ghanaians, I hear people say fear delegates, it's not true. Go, the, the people are not stupid. Why, 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 where did that come from? Fear delegates, is it because the, the, the politician is the politician thinks that he or she is smart. But the people are smarter. So we should so fear politicians. Go, so you go in there to trick the people. Oh, vote for me, I'll come back. Mm. They vote for you and you go. Mm. And you think that they are stupid. And they'll wait for you to come again. And then they'll teach you a lesson. But they've been so going it, again and, and again, again be because, and again. Because there are no alternatives. Because there are no options. And in my constituency, they have seen an option. And I want to do something for Ghana. Everybody must support me. Everybody. And the reason why everybody whether you are from Gumwa Central or not, my support is that this win is going to make a statement. It is who, who is there now? Who uh, are, who are you? Uh, the Deputy Minister for Interior. The uh, deputy. Yes, she's the MP, the current she's MP. She's the current MP. Yes. Now, this win is going to benefit every young Ghanaian, every independent-minded person. I am going to win in Gumwa, but it will send a certain signal to everybody in Peki, in in uh, Dabuya in Mankaragu that A plus went in as an independent candidate and he won and so I can also go I am trying to develop a template that will work even though it my 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 template may not be a one size fit mm. all kind of stuff we are going to use it as as a, as a, we are going to use we are using this whole thing as a case study mm. which is going to help other people in other constituencies to 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 contest as independent minded people we need independent minded people in in parliament mm. we need people who are going to be neutral people who are going to who are not going to be sacked by part from uh, from party headquarters if i contest on mpp ticket the next morning, MPP will, will they will sack me from the party, and then my seats will there will be by election in my constituency because I will not understand. If I will not sit down and watch you do the things that killed my sister 40 years ago. I will not allow you to run this country the same way that it was run 40 years ago that killed my brother, my 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 brother, one I, of my I brothers. Explain that a bit. How was the country run 40 that years your, ago? Your sister and brother died 40 years ago. I was living in Gumwa Sebu over 40 years ago. That's why, that's where I, 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 my parents, everybody, that's where we grew up. 40 years ago, we didn't have water. Mm. 40 years ago, malaria killed my sister. Mm. 40 years ago, uh, measles killed my brother. Mm. 40 years on, it still kills kids in the same, in, the, in that area. So that must change. And, so, and that must change. And, and it is, I'm in for, for a change. And so the first thing that I did in the constituency was to give people health insurance because I know that 40 years ago my father had a Toyota Cressida. It means he was he was okay, but we were dying. What about those whose parents didn't even have bicycles? A lot of people have died from measles, from malaria, from all of these. And so we have to do something about it. And I won't come to parliament and sit down and watch people uh, make decisions that will affect those people, those underprivileged people. Mm. And so it is very likely that I'll be sacked from, um, how do you call it, from, from the party because I will disagree. Mm. I am a non-conformist.
Yeah, we, that we know. I am a non-conformist, and it cannot change. Sometimes I sit down and I advise myself, Kwame, like I sit in front of a mirror, I look at myself and I say, Kwame, you know something? You have to take your time. You don't have to do this. And I leave the mirror, and the next minute I'm doing what? Because it is not going to benefit underprivileged people. And so I can't, I don't see myself being a member of, okay. of a party. Okay, great, great, great. You started some amazing thing called the, the, the what project? The, the People's, People's Project. The People's yes. Project. Yes. I remember you came on my show, the tree show then, yeah. but we come on to talk about that. Yep. And there was like a ground swell. Yep. I mean, you, you, you carried people's hopes yep. up, up yep. that finally something is going to come that politicians will have to be accounting to. What happened? That's the best thing that has happened to me. Having uh, uh, starting the People's Project is the best thing that has happened to my campaign. I learned a lot from TPP. I came to understand people, understand why people want to join your campaign. People have their personal interest. So that is the best, I, the world of knowledge that I acquired from what the people. What did you know? I did, I did when know. you started TPP that yeah. you, you know now? When I started TPP, I, I thought that everybody, we needed everybody. In politics, it's about numbers. When I go to this, ca this campaign, I've made everybody aware that it's not about numbers, it's about sensible people. It's about putting people who care about hold other on, people. Hold on. It's not about numbers. It's about it's sensible, sensible people. people. Yes. What if the sensible people are just a minority? They will, they, they will influence the rest of the people. You need to start with sensible people. They will bring all the other people. They understand. You need to, uh, you need to have people who have a certain mindset. Mm. It's not about just putting a lot of people together. If you put a lot of people together, you end up having what NDC and MPP has. Mm -hmm. It's about putting people who care about other people immediately they put food in their mouth i need i want to work with people who think who who think about hungry people anytime they, they are eating that is the, th th these are the kind of people i want to work with immediately food enters their mouth the first thing that comes to their brain that that comes to their mind is that somebody has not eaten mm. immediately they get health care the first thing that comes to their brain, mind is that I'm here and I have this whole facility and they're taking care of me. What has happened to the people in the village? I want, I want to work with such people. Mm. Not people who are following me, honorable, honorable, and they were looking for 20 Ghana cities. Mm. We had a lot of those people in TPP. Thieves. The thieves. Really? They came they in there to take, advantage? Their, to take advantage with their personal interest. And the interesting part is that they turn around and, and you see, it's difficult to fight corruption. The guys who were the criminals, the, the, the worst people amongst us, were the same people who went out there to tell people so that they look, they look good. But we have learned a lesson. If you want to go fast, you go alone. So I began my campaign alone. I don't want anybody to influence me, to tell me how to do, what to do, and, 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 and what not to do. So I'm running my campaign from my pocket. I'm prepared. I came in prepared. I'm giving container loads of stuff to, to people. Next week, I'm going to donate a container load of medical equipment to the people. It is coming, everything that I'm doing is coming from me. And so, it, it, TPP was the best thing. I've learned a lot. And that is why my campaign is running fast. When you smile, I understand it. People come to me honorable, I understand it. Because they were all coming to TPP headquarters. All of them, I, I, now I have a clear picture of what everybody is thinking. And I'm a proper guy, man. I know. So you I can tell one day. I know. This is from full respect. I know. And I can tell you for a fact that the people of Gomua, they like me. Anybody can just go into Gomua, whether you're from the University of Ghana, whether you're from e e e BNI, uh, e EU, whatever, go and do a research. Any research that says A plus won't win in Gomua Central is fake. Go and do a research. I'm strong on the ground. The, 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 the lessons, the experience from TPP is working on, on, on the ground, and we have numbers. And, and I'm very sure that uh, <coughs> we are going to take one year busy. That's our slogan. One year busy. One year busy, and the people say, yeah, you're busy. It is just... I like that. One year busy. Yes, yeah, yeah you're busy. busy, yes. <laughs> and any, <laughs> anywhere you go in Gomua, just, just get into a car. Get into any Gomua town. Stand anywhere and shout, one year busy. Somebody yeah, will busy. tell you, yeah, you're busy. And it's just... This is yeah, just they're busy doing what? Busy changing their lives. Busy 
changing the, the, the traditional NDC and MPP mindset. Busy going from house to house and telling people that we, are, we have to change the way, the, the, telling people that if we continue doing what we've been doing, we will continue getting what we have been mm. getting. Mm. Everybody in the constituency is busy. Mm. Look, when I, 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 I'm surprised that people are wasting their money to campaign. They will lose. Mm. Yes. Who, who, who is wasting their money? Wasting their NDC, money? MPP. They are wasting their money. They are wasting their time and their money because what has happened in the constituency now? The traditional way of campaigning in Ghana is that NDC is against MPP, MPP is against NDC. Mm -hmm. In Gomu mm -hmm. Central, it is not like that. NDC and MPP are against the independent candidate. That's a mm. tough guy. Yeah, there's You've a tough them. No, NDC and MPP have, now they are united. Yeah, united. Exactly <laughs> against 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 the independent candidate because they know that this guy is a tough guy. Hmm. They know. So the MP has anybody approached you from either side? It, it is impossible. They have and have refused, or they haven't even. They won't even. Oh, there. there are a lot of people who have who have come to speak with me, especially. You see, one thing about Gumwa Central is that Gumwa Central is. Is, is ours. My father set up the first private school in Gumwa Central. Mm. A lot of people in the constituency today went to my father's school. Mm. A lot of them are my mates. Some of them are my, my teachers. Some of them are my students. Mm. A lot of people who didn't go to my father's school wrote their BEC in my father's school because my father's school was the center. So everybody knows my father. I know everybody. Mm. So, so it is very difficult for even NDC and MPP executives to function in the constituency because Brad Kwame is in town. Everybody knows who Brad Kwame is. Show some for Brad Kwame, man. Brad Kwame. Yes. That's what they call you, man. Yes. Everybody is my friend. Everybody is my brother. Every, I know everybody by name and by father and by mother. What and extent do you think being a very popular musician anyway, and you have been, the first time I met you years ago, do you remember? Yep. That I got you on my yeah, show yeah, years ago. Years ago. Yeah, I was so, was I was so skinny. You say? I was so skinny. You were very skinny. I didn't <laughs> have a big head, but because I was skinny, my head looked big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 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 what, what, what percentage of that is what is working for you now? People know you. They probably love you from the time you're a musician. Is that goodwill that you're taking f on on this trail now? Yeah, I think or that you've said something new altogether. There are people who are jealous because you have become. You think you have become A plus, and so. But the good thing is that in my area, they're so happy for me. They know me. They saw me when I was coming to, when I was uh, traveling to Accra for the first time. I was sitting down with the boys by the roadside. Nana Kujo, Nabiu, Nabenyin, uh, Ekor Richard, uh, Talitu, uh, uh, Akim. They're all my guys. We were sitting down by the roadside and I said, listen, man, I'm going to Accra. I'm going to make music in Slimbuster Studio. Mm. And they know the journey and they, and they so love me. They're so happy that the guy left here and he became this. And I've told them that there is an opportunity for every will and heart. So this whole music thing has really mm. put me where I am. Mm. You go to places and they don't want to because they don't, they like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, but my people are crazy about me. Like, it is very difficult for me to go home these days. Extremely difficult because when I go to my mother's house, she asks me, did you expect this? Well, everybody comes home, everybody. I get to, I get to my mom's house and everybody comes home, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm even advising the parties that uh, leave them alone. This is A plus we're talking wow. about. Wow. Leave them alone because if you decide to sack people from your parties because they associate with you, you sack everybody. Mm. Everybody. Mm. 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 Everybody. What 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 what's what amount of uh, or percentage of uh, uh, conk NDC MPP members that you know these are NDC these are MPP that are drifting towards you? Do you do you, do you know of them? I, I won't I won't I won't come up with numbers. Okay. But I but I I know for a fact. <laughs> it's so it's so interesting. These parties are dealing with those who have come out to say we support A plus. Mm. They don't know that those who have not come out are my number one supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's getting very very exciting. <laughs> Let me take a break right now. When we come back, Brad Kwame will be here to tell us more. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> KSM Show. The KSM Show. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We are hanging out with the upcoming 
He's so confident he says he's upcoming. He's not the possible candidate. He's the upcoming uh, MP for Gomua Central. My 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 office, Braki, Brakwami. So we are back. We're back. We're back. This is what I, I want to get your mind on. You know, I mean, yeah, like you're saying, for the longest time, it's been traditionally the MPP or the NDC. Then we went through a whole period where there was something called fix the nation, do this, do that. And what they were clamoring for, you had third force, you had third force, you had third force. What is the third force? Is it what you're talking about? Some, somebody to emerge who is not bound to any of these two parties or the third force is a new kind of leadership that will unite those two parties? Give me your, your, your position now. It takes me back to the same question about TPP. When, when they began Fix the Country, I have, a, I have a friend, his name is Michael Abi, uh, Nani Atopi, he's the chief. Uh, he's, I think he's my number one fan. Mm. And uh, he said, oh, why you have to join Fix the Country? And uh, I'm disappointed that you're not part. And I said something to him, Fix the Country will collapse. You said it will collapse? Yes. I told him straight. And that's why when they went for the demonstration and they, uh, we went on UTV and people were saying, why didn't you go? Or is it because I knew that. And, and not only that, you said they were going on a... Or trot. <laughs> they went for trot. <laughs> you said I they were... I knew. Because the person who started Fix the Country is a, f is a fantastic guy. I wish I could... And I sat down with Oliver. Oliver called me and said that, oh, he wanted me to do operations for Fix I told him, Oliver, it won't work to collapse. You told Oliver it won't yes, work? Yes, yes. And I told Oliver. Based on what, by the way? By, uh, based on my experience from TPP. Uh. I had seen the people who were drifting. And, and these are guys, look, if you want to help Ghanaians, you have to be ready. You have to be, you have to be radical. You have to go through it. You have to, uh, you have to stomach all the insults. You, you have to learn how to, just, just, don't, just don't care. Those that you have to be, be hard on, you have to be hard on them. You're a nice guy. You know the law. It will, it will not work. That's why I keep telling the people, look, you may not like Kennedy Japan. We do not need any Oye Oye person as president of Ghana, mm -hmm. as a Papa Mati Oye. No. You should go and establish a church. We need a certain mindset to run this country. I knew that all this fixed the country and all. The people were rushing in there. That is all they know. If you like, tomorrow morning, just get up and say, you want to start a new, you have people to follow you. And that is why I didn't say I'm starting a movement. I'm start I said, I'm going to parliament. It is me. I want to win that seat. When I win that seat, I'll come back and, t and, and, and put those people back into, TP, into the people's project. That's why we, ha we still have all our WhatsApp platforms. Everything is there. Every TPP has a WhatsApp platform in every town, every village, every city, most countries, including Iceland and Russia. The people are still there. I know what So I basically, mean. it's not the like third force the TPP. Oh, no, go ahead. The go ahead. third force that everybody is talking about is not, is, 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 uh, 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 we are not achieving it, not because the NDC and MPP are against the third force. It is because the same people you are fighting for are the ones, they are the worst people. The people that you are trying to fight for, I told Oliver, Oliver, look, you are fighting for again. He was, okay, so when Oliver was arrested in uh, Ashaman, when he was arrested for some cool comment mm -hmm, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I went Treason to him. Stuff, yes, yeah. I went to him in Ashaman. He was here. His mother was there. Ferguson was there. I asked him, are you sure you want to fight for these people? Wow. Yeah, I asked him, are you sure that you want to be in this cell for these to people? To fight these people? Yeah. Are you sure? I told Oliver, do you know what you have to do? Find a seat in parliament. Make laws. Uh, uh, be part of the system. You, to go out and say every day you want to demonstrate. Do you know when they started writing evening news? From Kwame Nkrumah's time. <laughs> do you know, do you know, you, I, 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 I think you don't understand this. I know you are passionate about all of this, but are you sure about these people? And, and his mother looked at me, and I knew that she understood what I was saying, mm. because she's, she's elderly. And it has gone on and on, on, and it got to the point where Oliver was so frustrated, not because the government was coming after him. And his resignation letter, when I read it, it took me back to the day I was sitting with him in the police station. I asked him, are you sure? So Jesus Christ came into this life and selected 12 people. Just 12. He had, 70, he had seven, uh, 82 people following him. One day he said, if you don't eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will not enter into the kingdom of whatever, whatever. And 70 left. So he was left with 12.
and ask them, are you also leaving? Peter said, where do I have to go? So it was these 12 people that had brought Christianity where it is today. And so if you want to save 30 million people at, the, at a go, when even Jesus himself knew that he needs only 12. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is this, A+. Plus. Um, you were sort of advising uh, Oliver. Oliver. Yes. That you can't count on the huge numbers. Yes. Find the only 12 people. Yes, yes. Find you the are now, people. Yeah, you are now in uh, Gomwa Central. Yes. Have you found the 12 people, have, have they all decided that they will follow you? Are you also not making a mistake that maybe you're also going for all of them? There are, 100, there are 275 constituencies in Ghana. I could wake up this year and say, I want to contest for president as an independent candidate. Shabosum has been there. Ekwiadonko has been there. E Cheda is coming in there. E e Parkway Syndrome has been there. So I could just get up and say, I want to I contest. Want to yeah. But I'm looking for the 12. Because looking for the 12. In Gomwa Central. Out of the 170, uh, uh, 275, 75. I'm starting from a small place. I want to win that seat first. I want to do everything that I can for the people. Mm. And I am not desperate. I have to say this. Look, it, it, it has nothing to do with winning or losing the election. I want to be able to tell the people that this is how I changed your life. It, it might not be me being the MP, but the kind of stuff that I'm doing there, I'm sure that even if I don't win, the people have come to understand that an independent candidate did this. We need an independent-minded person. So if I don't win, I know that another person will win. Jesus Christ didn't see Matthias and Roman and Zion and all the churches. He began with the 12. Today, you have Christianity all over the place. So I'm not desperate to win. And if I, uh, hell will break loose if I don't win or my life depends on it. No, my life does not. I came to Accra with no money. No place to sleep. Homeless. I used to sleep in Slimbuster Studio. I uh, 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 used to sleep in Benji's Pub. When we were building Benji's Pub at uh, uh, McCarthy Hill, we used to sleep on the bar table. Today I'm coming A+. Plus. Look, I have achieved. That is, that is an achievement for me. Mm. So being an, uh, being an MP is an icing on the cake. Mm. I'm not desperate. Mm. But I'm certain. I'm, it's, a, it's a pace that I'm okay. certain. Okay. Let, let, let me cut in here quickly because I've heard two things. One thing I heard is that you are so confident that you say MPP and NDC, they are wasting their time. Because they have, they have no chance against what you are bringing in. The hurricane that Barack Obama is bringing in, MPP and NDC, has no chance. And then now you, I'm hearing that you are not in here to win. It's, I just want to send a message across, you know. So which is it? No, should, they, should I, they be I'm worried I'm that you are there? No, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that I have never been a desperate person. I died in 1984. I'm surprised that I'm still alive. So everything that comes my way, I accept it. In 1984, I had measles and whatever. I, 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 I saw myself dying. It was Mama Mensa who woke up at night. and I, I just saw the woman. She came and she gave me some drugs. That's what saved me. So this whole life, I mean, I've never been desperate. I know for sure that I'm going to win the election. My, f my supporters, they know. But what I'm saying is that I'm not that typical politician mm. who only Who's wants to win an election. I, j I must win. And what? Mm. I want to do something different. It's not just about the winning. The winning will happen. But if I don't so win... So you know you'll win. I have won. That, 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 that you don't have any doubts about winning. It is, there is no way. If, if I don't win this election, I don't think anybody must do anything. You, you just have to follow the traditional NDC and PPP thing. Mm. Because we have worked. We are going to win. But what I'm telling everybody is that Kwame Plus is totally different. A very different person. The mm. mindset is totally different. Mm. And and I am I am using myself as an example for all the young people in the constituency. Mm. I'm one of you. You saw me here. You saw me grow up. We used to fetch water from here. This is where I am today. Prepare yourself for an opportunity mm. tomorrow too. It's not just about winning that we have. No, whatever the outcome of the election. I have changed the dynamics in Gumwa Center mm. forever. Mm. Mm. Before, before, before I, I jumped into the race, the people they, they used to beg politicians to come to events, fundraising to, 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 to develop social amenities for communities. When I jumped in the race, now the politicians beg to be there. <laughs> now they beg. Mm. A, week to, to a night to Dahum's festival, people were calling that, look, we have not received our invitation. invitation. Because, because they knew that I turned the whole town from NDC and MPP to one year busy. <laughs> you know, mm. I, I, they used to come to, to events. 
people want to build schools. Uh, politicians come there and give them 500 Ghana. Mm. How can you use that to build a school? Mm. So mm. I step in there and I tell the people that, listen, these guys who came and gave you 500 Ghana, they have a million dollars hiding under their mm. bed. Me, mm. all the money I have in this world is 10,000 Ghana. Take it and go and build a school for the kids. And the people have seen that, look, it's not because he has a lot of money. It is because he cares about mm. us. This is my, my widow's might. Mm. And that is what I will give to you. Because I am not the kind of person who wants to die with 100 houses. I want to die and everybody say he left 100 schools. He helped 100 people. Put your hands together, man. That's the legacy you're talking about. Yes. Mm. 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 So one, one question that, that really, really, really intrigues me. If what you're saying is happening, that suddenly mindsets are beginning to change, what took so long? Everybody in Ghana, go to go to Mencia, go to K2 South, all those people, the majority of them who are sitting down now and are thinking, hmm, NDC and NPP. And I've said to the people in my constituency, it doesn't make sense to leave NDC and join NPP. It doesn't make sense to leave NPP and join NDC. It does not make sense. Why? Because they are the same. Akufuado has anti-gay bill if, uh, before him to sign. Akufuado would do everything possible not to sign it. They say somebody took it to court. Funny. Funny, they're funny. Coincidentally. <laughs> 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 somebody took it to court. So Akufuado is going to delay so that he won't sign. And let Akufuado and MPP leave power today. The next morning, they'll turn around to whoever is in power and say, why haven't you signed? Yeah. And when you say, uh, because... Uh, 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 and why didn't you people sign when you were in power? I said, that's why they voted against us, mm. and we are not in power. So you sign. Mm. Mm. And this and MPP, they are just the same. But the reason why it has taken so long is that they have a better option. And if anybody can go to any community and present them a better option, they will support you. The people are not stupid. The people don't fear delegates. The people are smart. The people are looking for the best. The people are looking for alternatives. And, and, and people are not giving them those alternatives. Mm. And that is why it has taken long. Mm. So this whole concept of fear delegates, it's not that the delegates, you don't think that the delegates are treacherous and that the delegates are very sly and cunning, but the delegates are smart. That the problem is that they've outsmarted the politicians. I'm giving you a practical example. Please do. In the last MPP parliamentary election, the Kwesi Mintim MP, who is my primary school mate, Dr. Prince Ama, I was scared that he was going to lose the election because he had an opponent who had so much money to him. Out of the 275, whatever, I, I don't know how many people contested, it was only Dr. Prince Ama who did not pay one Ghana CD, but he still won. And he didn't pay any money? And the people, after they voted for him, mm -hmm. everybody was out singing, they were out jubilating that we did not take money. We voted for this guy. And Ghana does not know this. There is an MPP guy who did not pay one CD and he still won. Why? Because he's with the people. Because he does not wait. So the people, so it is not delegates that you have to fear. If you you are you you think you are smart, they will wait for you to come. So these people in Kwesi Mintim. They are some of the best human beings that I have seen. They care about the country. They care about their people. So they vote for somebody that they think is there for them, somebody who is development-oriented, somebody who cares about the constituency, not somebody who has money to spend. In my constituency, this MP, according to the delegates in the constituency, paid between 3,000 and 6,000 Ghana cities, according to the, according to the delegates paid between 3,000 and 6,000 just to become PC. And all the roads are bad, and, 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 and schools are bad, and people are looking for just, I went to a place like Oboase. The whole town, there are four sources of water, and not one is working. Mm. And I had to go and fix all the four. And she has money to give to delegates to vote for her. Mm. So if you have such, if you do, if you give delegates uh, uh, 3,000 each to vote for you, in the general election, 
you want these delegates to go and tell the people at home to come and vote for you. They also are waiting. They are also waiting for the three thousand each. You can't go and take three thousand. Come and so they'll vote against you. And you say fear, we are delegate, fear voters. No. If you are the right, if you do the right thing, Ghanaians will support you. Ghanaians will vote for you. Look, there are few people who don't like Kwame A plus, but majority of the people like Kwame A plus. Oh, this guy, proper guy, man. They like me. Yes, I've been to so Those many. Those who don't like you, why don't they like you? Because they are criminals. Mm. The, 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 oh, no, the cr criminals don't like me. They are thieves. They are they are they are they are, they are uh, uh, opportunists. They are uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, they, they they don't have uh, the values. No, they are just bad people. Look, I've been to courts. People have taken me to courts. Have you ever seen a, a court reading a judgment? And, 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 and the judge is talking and you are sitting down. Good people in this country, they like Kwame Plus. From the chief justice to the police, to, be, to special prosecutor, they know Kwame Plus stands for what is right. Anybody who does not have, like Kwame Plus has never ended war. Has never ended war? Mm -mm. <coughs> I can give you examples. I, because Please give me. I will, I will, I will hold it now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I walk up to somebody and say, go and tell your boss. He will never take pension pay. It is not because I'm going to call somebody to do but God will sack him. And the problem that that guy had, I only, I only left the matter because it was too close to somebody that I have a lot of respect for. Mm. Yes. Mm. So every good person in this country, every sensible person, likes Kwame Plus. Mm. Because they know I'm doing the right There's thing. a song that I remember. It's, 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 the person was hated by the bad and loved by the good. Yes. Is that your situation? But the bad hates you. The bad hates me. But you see, the best that we should be in, in th that should be in this life is for the evil to respect the, the, the just. Unfortunately, we live in, a, in a, a society where they will find a way to make you look bad. Martin Amidou. They don't like Martin Amidou. They will find a way to say things about Martin Amidou. What did Martin Amidou do? You cannot be in Ghana and be a good person. They wanted to do the same to Dr. Dampire. A lot of people every day coming up with issues. Dampire, Dampire. God bless Akufuado for this particular one. Akufuado stood his ground because he knows that that guy is a, is a good guy. But some of the good things that Akufuado has given to Ghana are not infrastructure but the police service, the leader, the chief justice. Some of the bad things that he has done is to remove the Omerovo. Akufuado sometimes, you don't, he, he does good things as like a, a Kutrebin. You know Kutrebin? Kutrebin. Uh, Kutre. Yeah, Kutrebin. Uh -huh. Kutre. <laughs> lizard. You see, lizard, 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 the, the, the being, you know, uh, is uh, uh, white, then small black, then to spoil the whole color. You understand? Mm. Uh -huh. So he will do good things. Then, Pew, then you spoil it. Because I don't know why Kufuadu will remove a man like Domlevo, who was surcharging people and retrieving money for the country. What did Domlevo do wrong? You understand? But so long as you want to do the right things in this country, let's, let's start, let's go to... Uh, uh, you, you know what, uh, folks? Time is coming. It's really, really running. But uh, I want you to join us next week there for another 30 minutes with this guy. Why? Brah Kwame, say yeah. next week. Yeah, yeah, next week so we come. can do every week. <laughs> <laughs> we can do every week. Yes. Oh, okay, folks. So let me quickly sign out today and then join us again next week. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it like United Showbiz. Every week we'll be here. <laughs> we'll be talking our mind. <laughs> <laughs> folks, yeah. you know what, what what happened when I was interviewing Canada Japan? Maybe next, you know, we have to continue this thing, okay? So, so, so next week we'll do the conclusion of me and my Wafasi Kwame. Until then, KSM standing of saying, I am out of. Let all everybody say here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week.
the KSM Show.